Welcome everyone. I'm so excited. Uh, this is Matara and I'm glad to introduce you to everyone in the team. Hello. Hello. We're glad to be here. Hi. So we like to do a very short interview about Matara and you being part of it. And so I like to just go by a couple of questions and I hope we will get to enjoy the conversation. So uh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question is, uh, you just state your name, the role that you play and what your character brings to the story. Uh, my name is Eleanor Holt and I'm playing Karen, who is Matara, the elephant's uh, keeper. And I play Romney, who is, um, oh, I, I am Patricia yeah. Zentilly, and I play Romney. And um, she is a sort of, uh, businessy person <laughs> that's been brought in <laughs> to sort of smooth over some bad publicity that the zoo's been having. Mm. So she's trying to, to work with the people at the zoo to, mm. to make a new vision. Mm. I love that dramatic pause. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't think of the word of like <laughs> CEO. No, she's not a Marketing CEO. whiz. Marketing whiz, see? Yeah. Yes. I'm Minister Faust. I play Marcel, and Marcel is the night security man at the zoo. Yeah. And so I'm glad to hear that. That's exciting. So the second thing, being the production dramaturg, uh, I've been able to interact with a number of people in the team. And one of the most exciting adventures that I had with the project was the collaborative nature. And in your roles, did you find this project collaborative? And in which ways was it collaborative? Because there were a number of people who were outside this conversation, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I found it highly collaborative. We had a week at the beginning of October where we all got in a room and we kind of worked out how we would bring Matara to life. Mm. And we spent, you know, an entire week with designers and directors mm. And, mm. and with each other um, just figuring out what elements do you need to, mm. to make an elephant mm. and, and so that you can actually address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh. And <laughs> you, you, you did it. <laughs> I went there. Oh I God. went there. <laughs> it was great having the playwright in the room yeah. and still yeah. Yeah. and the drama church. Yeah. Yeah. The church. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that was really, really cool to sort of um, watch her listening and making little changes to make mm -hmm. the story clearer and Mm. I, I found that really great. Mm. I like Connie. Mm. And I've been in, in uh, several workshops for the script, mm. going back a couple of years, I think. And so it's been really interesting to see all the people involved and everything they brought to it. And I'm really having a great time working with these two terrific actors who mm. are really um, animating these characters, bringing them to life beautifully. Mm. So, yeah, it's been fascinating. And uh, I mean, everybody's been great. The dramaturg has been terrible. But other than that, <laughs> it's, been, it's been awesome. <laughs> Uh, just to, to add on to everything that you said is that every step of the way, because we had a workshop and now we have rehearsals, it's been a process of discovery and we've been discovering what are uh, the elephant in the room and how each of our, each every one of, of the of the members of the cast has to bring something into the discussion that will enable us to think about broader things like animal welfare and the places of zoos in our society. And yeah. So a final question is in your own perspective, why should people come see Matara? Uh, I think they should come for Connie Massing's writing. Mm. I think that she's um, one of uh, one of our Canadian treasures as a mm. as a playwright, mm. and uh, so I think that they should come to see mm. you know, a premiere play by her. Mm. I think they should come because uh, not only is it a great play. I think it'll be, uh, and it might, you'll laugh, you'll be moved, and maybe it'll make you start a discussion with mm -hmm. the person you go see it with about mm -hmm. um, animal rights or mm -hmm. zoos or um, mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm -hmm. What about you? 
Well, you know, I always like a story that mm. makes it difficult for people to make up their mind rather mm. than a snap. Mm. Because it's easy if you see a show that says, you know, stacks the deck, mm. zoos are evil, mm. or, you know, uh, all zoos are perfect or whatever else. And this, mm. this refuses to do that. There's yeah. a lot of good reasons that a variety of characters have and, yeah. and that these two terrific performers next to me are... Uh, doing to make their characters fully human so yeah. that they, they don't just play stereotypes. Yeah. So that is, I mean, the, we need that. We need, in a time yeah. when so many people in North America want us to think simplistically about things and want us yeah. to fight each other, yeah. we need intellectual moving, emotional yeah. work that makes us consider why yeah. things aren't simple yeah. and that we will have to work together. And I think the other major reason to come is that everybody who attends the show will get a, a, a carving yeah. <laughs> ivory of Matara the elephant. And it's beautiful. Yeah. So I think that would be awesome. It's lying. Yeah. It's lying. Coming from a background of too much political theater, one of the things I like about this project is the fact that it's not about right or wrong or kind of what, what the play is. Kind of trying to say it's more of it, it brings up a discussion that can make people nod and walk out of the theater being like oh wow okay i'll think about that and that yeah so thank you thank you yeah thank you. and it's been a pleasure to work with all of you